Hey guys, JD here. And today I'm gonna show you what might be one of the biggest leaks that's out there about a new Kawasaki Ultra 350, Ultra 400. What's coming next for the Kawasaki Ultra? Now I found out about this not because I was given information but because I purchased some parts. And the parts I received were a different part number than the parts I ordered. After talking with the supplier who's located in Japan, I was able to find out that the previous part number has been mysteriously superseded in the beginning of 2024. So what you're looking at here is an OEM Kawasaki Ultra 310 jet pump. This is off of a 2022 model. Now you can see on this side of the pump, it's completely smooth. We have our filter block right on the top here. This feeds the supercharger, it feeds the oil cooler. We have a pickup right here, this feeds the intercooler, right? And it's a 160 millimeter pump, all right? So here I have a brand new stator housing. The part number for this new stator housing is 594960013. Now this part number if you guys go and check the microfitch on many of the Mi Riva Racing, for example, still has a different part number listed. But this is, so at first I saw this and I said, oh, they sent me the wrong part. And so I reach out to the guys in Japan that I bought this from and they say, no, no, no. This is the new pump that supersedes the previous pump. So one, why is there a new part number? And two... What's different between this and the original Ultra 310 pump? Well, I'm going to be the first to show you here. So interestingly enough, you can see that this has got this pickup port here, just uh, the same that's on the current Ultra 310 pump. But if we turn the pump around the other way, there's an additional pickup port. And this one, interestingly enough, is untapped. So there's no threads. And then the holes for the cooling channel are not drilled. You can see there they're drilled here. They're not. And at first I thought, oh, maybe they sent me the wrong pump. Because look, this one, which is a 2022, is smooth. This one's got this new casting. So I started thinking and I said, you know, more cooling capacity equals more power. So what if this right here and this superseded part number is actually the jet pump that's going to be installed on the new Ultra 350? Now it's possible that this extra port could be used to feed a larger intercooler, maybe a larger supercharger, hell, maybe even a liquid-cooled turbo. So I just wanted to show you guys this. This is a superseded part number. It's brand new. This was manufactured on March 13th, 2024 in Japan. So this part number here, this is 59496-3767. That's this part from 2022, all right? This is my old pump. My new pump, I ordered that part number, the 3767 part number, but what showed up was this 0013 part. And, and, you know, as I mentioned, I was up in arms. I reach out to the guys in Japan. I'm like, hey, you know, what the heck? You sent me the wrong pump. And they're like, no, this is the new pump. This one's fresh, fresh from the factory. This is how they're building them now for the Ultra 310s. And so... I reached out to some guys in the industry that I talked to and I said, you know, what do you think this possibly could be for? And Kawasaki is cooking something up with this. I mean, why would they add an additional cooling port to the pump? The pump is unchanged other than that. So, and that makes sense because this, this 160 millimeter pump is, is a great pump that's been, that's been tested on the, the 300s and the 310s and, you know, no cavitation. The only complaint I have about these pumps and the reason why I'm replacing this is that you can't change the wear ring. It's integral to the pump housing. But again, this whole pump housing was only 300 bucks. So not like I'm spending that much money to replace this part. Of course, I have a brand new OEM impeller here as well. So stay tuned. I, I have uh, reached out to some industry contacts and I'm just waiting on some more details about this new pump 
Again, this is part number 59496-0013. It's got dual side exit cooling ports that are not present on the current 2022 plus Kawasaki Ultra 310. Now, alternatively, maybe they decided to make some modifications to the 310. Because um, right now, the block that fits right over here has two water outlets on it. So maybe they're revising this to, to provide an additional water outlet on the side and then have this port feed maybe only one accessory. But the only thing I could speculate at this moment in time is that this is a new casting that they have created for what's next. And obviously more cooling capacity means more horsepower. So I am very, very curious about this new casting on the pump. You can see it's not drilled. It's just right there. And if you go to order a new pump from your dealer and you order a 59496-3767, you might get an old stock one that looks like this, but that part number has been superseded by 59496-0013. And I only know this because I'm probably one of the few who's actually ordered this new pump. And in that, I ordered it directly from Japan, not from a US dealer. So I essentially ordered it from a supplier who gets these, you know, I don't want to say it fell off a truck, but, uh, you know, they get them from the source more or less. And, and they told me that uh, this is the new casting. This is the superseded part number. So a lot of curiosity as to why this new port is here. If you think you know why, please leave a message in the comments. And uh, again, uh, I figured this out. I was putting the new pump together and I'm like, wait a second, what is this port here? And uh, so just came across it by accident. And um, maybe I stumbled onto something here. Maybe it's, it's nothing, but uh, very fascinating. Again, let me know what you guys think in the comments. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please consider hitting that like button and subscribing for more exclusive jet ski content only on JD's Waterworld.